The Black Mama has been on a quest to train the best in basketball since his retirement. And Kobe's latest student, Kawhi Leonard of the Toronto Raptors. That still fe feels a little weird to say. But uh, social media went, of course, mad with Kawhi to the Lakers rumors. But Raptors president Masai Ujiri had this to say on acquiring Kawhi. How many instances are we going to, chances are we going to have to, to get a player at that level? And that's what we're talking about. And we weight those chances of getting a player that's um, the caliber of Kawhi Leonard. And yes, the risk of injury, the risk of does he want to stay? We have to prepare. We have to. Those things, uh, to me, you want them to happen organically. And um, he has to come and, and see your situation. And you have, to, um, you have to lay the bed well for him. And that they have thus far. The team is finally without a LeBron James barrier yeah. in the Eastern Conference. How great an impact could Kawhi have on this roster? I, I think he can have a huge impact if his heart is there and he's fully bought in. I mean, you're talking about bringing, you know, arguably, you know, one of the top three best players in the league offensively and defensively to your team. So I think Masai made the correct call when you're talking about trading DeMar DeRozan for Kawhi. I mean, this is there's a small window of opportunity here. And now that LeBron James is gone, right, that window is, is really small. And right now, the Raptors have a shot. The Celtics have a shot. Philly has a shot. Detroit thinks they have a shot. Indiana thinks they have a shot. Milwaukee thinks they have a shot. So you, when you acquire the best player, you're saying, okay, this is all small window, and if it's only for a year and we make it to the finals, it was worth it. So I think it's the, it's the right call for the Raptors. However, I do caution, I don't know if the coach is ready to handle this team, handle this talent, and take it to the finals. Because when your window is small, as it is for the Raptors right now, everything's got to be in order. So you got the right pieces on the floor, talent-wise. Now do you have the right coach to lead it and take it to the next level? And that's a question that we don't, that, that's yet to be answered. Well, not only is the window small for the team, but the window could be even smaller to actually keep Kawhi Leonard mm -hmm. in town. What are the chances that that happens? How do you turn that small window of opportunity into a long-term contract? I, I think... I look at it this way. When you, when you got a chance to put together the pieces to win an NBA championship, okay, that only comes once every 30 or, you know, 40 years, right? So when you have that opportunity, whether it be for eight months or whether it be for two years, you got to go for it when it's there. And I think Toronto is going for it. And if they don't make it, okay, then they start all over again. But I think they made the right call in going for it. Well, you mentioned a few of the teams that think they have a shot in the Eastern mm -hmm. Conference. Everybody thinks so now, right? Well, why not? Yeah. LeBron James is out west. But we've talked in depth about the Celtics. We've talked in depth about the Raptors. Do you think that those two will be the teams that we see in the conference finals? I think they will be the two teams. However, you know, they're, they're not head and shoulders above everybody else. I think Milwaukee has a shot. If Detroit stays healthy and Drummond and Griffin and Jackson get their act together and they can stay healthy and, and form the type of bond that they want, Detroit could be dangerous too. Indiana, we saw what they did to Cleveland. So I, I think the door is wide open. I can physically hear the people yeah. typing tweets to you, the Sixers fans typing tweets to you. Uh, you're, you're missing out. No. You're I'm, missing Philadelphia. I'm, I'm not missing. That was, that was going to be my last one, <laughs> right? And, 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 Thanks for bringing it, but when you look Don't at Embiid, yeah. you know, when you look at Embiid and Simmons, and then the, the most underrated, you know, situation that happened over the summer, I think when Philadelphia acquired Wilson Chandler from Denver, hmm. that is going to be a nice piece for them in terms of what they're trying to do. He can defend, he can shoot a three, he can rebound. I mean, that's going to be a big piece for them.